You want to be my hip sticker? Who's my first setter? Target moves all the way outside. Setter come into the setter spot right there. The line's ready to move in quick. So this drill is called the fan drill, and it's basically just moving the players to follow the ball. The setter becomes the target. The target becomes the hip sticker, which is an important position. Puts the ball right on the coach's hip so they can continue to coach and not look around for the ball. And that just continues in a circle. If you ever are just working with one setter, you basically move that setter in a fan-shaped drill. You toss to the setter. Then you toss in front of the setter, and they have to hustle back. Then you toss way over here, and they've got to come get it and turn and get back. Then you start working them off the net, all the way out here, all the way over there, and you make a nice fan pattern. This is one of my favorite drills to do with setters, to make them hustle and work on all different kinds of moves to different passes. For now, because we have multiple players, it's going to be one set each, and then rotate to keep them moving so they don't stand for too long. Here we go, you guys ready? Stand back there in your setting spot. Clock your wrist back a little bit. Hands up. Where are you going? I'm not moving you yet, even though we just worked on footwork. I'm just tossing right to you guys. Nice, good. Elbows forward a little bit. Get under it. Good, remember that fast footwork. Hands down, hands down. Ready? Quick to the ball. Nice. Was your right foot in front of your left a little bit? Spread them out. Yes. Show me. Great. Lindsay, did we set from our chin or our forehead? Chinny chin, chin cheroo, get under it. Nice. Everyone show me that base we want with our feet. Good. Get your feet to the ball every time. Ready. Good. Nice finish. Under the ball. Good. Elbows forward a little bit. Don't lean. We got both shoulders to the target. Good. Do you feel how it was out here a little bit? Thumbs forward. Everybody crank their thumbs back to their forehead. Ready. Good. Get to the ball first. Ball first. Hands up. Push it out. So then, if you want, now that they've done it to them, now I'm going to start moving them a little bit. So they need to run down the ball because often at this age, the passes don't always go exactly where we want them to go, even at every age, honestly. So you got to be ready to run as a setter. So now we're ready to run. I'm going to make you guys move. Ready? Go get the ball. Nice job. Get it up at your forehead. One more step to that ball and you got it. One more step for you too, Roy. Go. Way to get it on your forehead. Here we go. Ball. Nice hustle, girls. Call the ball. Good. So I think we could all do this. Everybody put their hands or setting from our faces right now. So what I want you to do is if you think you're to the ball, I want you to go ahead and take one more step forward. It might feel awkward at first because the hands are going to feel really high, but that's what I want you guys to work on. Ready? Start in your center spot. You ready to run? Go get it, Linz. There we go. Nice. Look up with your eyes, not your face. That's okay, you overran it, we'll get it next time. Nice hustle, Rory. Good. So did you see on that one, you, we all know how fast Lily is, right? Super speedy. On that one, she was kind of trying to time it and get to the ball the same time as the ball got to the spot. Do I want you to meet the ball or beat the ball? Beat the ball. We're gonna beat the ball, you guys ready? Go. Nice hustle, ready. You're gonna be ready to run, go get it. As fast as you can, nice touch. Go get it, go get it. All right, you're going to relax those cute little fingers a little bit. They're excited. Also, is it faster to run like this or get to the ball pumping your arms? Get to the ball and then get your hands up. And then if I want to start working with them a little bit on setting balls that are off the net, I tend to stand right here first. I go ahead and move Lindsay out here, and I have her turn and face the four. Come this way. You're going to face the target right up there, and I'm going to toss from here so that they really get used to all, always facing the right spot. And the line's gonna come behind her and get ready to step in really fast. So from here, just set over my head. Good, I'm gonna need one more ball. There we go, ready, woo, ready. So you go to target next, set it over my head to your target, become the next target. Good, ball, nice, good finish, ball. Good, all the way to the ball, get those feet stopped. A little in front of you, right? Here we go, that's okay, here we go. It didn't stick to my hip. Get under it. Could you feel how you straighten and then bend? Straight up your stomach like a country western quick draw. Boom, show me. Boom, straight to your forehead, ready. Get it up. Nice release, don't lean back. Look up with your eyes. Beautiful, thumbs back a little bit more. Nice set, good. I'd love to see those elbows come forward a tiny bit. Great set, Kayla. Do you feel them coming like this? It's all right, get set. 
Now that they understand how to get their feet squared to the target, now I'm gonna have them start back at the net where they were, line over there, target in the same spot. Now I'm gonna come toss over here and have them start working on that footwork we talked about earlier where they step and then square up. This is a tough set to let that ball come all the way over the left shoulder, but we gotta, we gotta go for it, ready? So you're gonna be hands down, you're gonna step out to the ball and try to whip your feet to the target. Ready, go. Get around it, nice square, that's it. Get all the way out here, beautiful guys, nice. Don't leave till I toss, great square, nice job Lily. Here we go, come get it Kayla. Beautiful, one more step and it'll be perfect, you're almost there, ready. Get all the way around, beautiful set, good job. 